Hello, beautiful people. Uh, so it's gonna be a, another episode uh, of the Meta Dex uh, from the July season 2024. Uh, this time we're gonna uh, start with Northern Realms, and uh, I prepared uh, for you, I would say, the seven most interesting decks. Uh, some of them uh, they are back in the game. Uh, the other ones, unfortunately, they are out of the game, but there's something um, uh, something similar uh, replaced them. So, uh, for instance, here we have a, a stockpile. Uh, as you can see, obviously, like always, we're playing a Crystal Skull uh, to give some kind of a protection to uh, our machines. Uh, then Siege, uh, obviously King Hellselt, Amphibious Assault and Flotsam, surprisingly. Even after the <coughs> nerf, uh, Flotsam is still present in the in the decks. Uh, King Radovid, also after the... After the nerfs, uh, he's still here. Also, like Radovid uh, Judgment, so many nerf uh, nerf cards, but st they are still in the uh, in the deck. Uh, Hubert Drake for thinning. Then we have ov obviously uh, Flotsam uh, Pride uh, that you would like to play with uh, Order, and you would like to use all the uh, um, leader charges with Flotsam. Uh, then uh, John Natalis uh, for thinning. Uh, one log Margarita. Uh, then Temerian Infantry. This is also a card that, that was uh, definitely uh, nerfed a lot because right now it's only at two points of power and you can see it's still uh, playable. Uh, control option Boiling Oil, uh, two Caro Ballistas, two uh, Ballistas, two Siege Masters for Tinning, one uh, Control Option Bombardment, a uh, Winch uh, uh, as a Warfare. Uh, then we have a Siege Support uh, played all together with uh, King Radovid just to uh, automatically give it zeal. <coughs> uh, then two Kadwani Revenants and one Siege uh, Tower. Then we have the second version of it, and as you can see uh, here, it's pretty much the same. We have a uh, Vigo's muzzle, that's the difference. Then we have also Queen Adalia, obviously uh, that is being played into uh, Temerian uh, infantry. Uh, for uh, consistency, we have here a Royal Decree. Uh, what is interesting, uh, as you can see, there is no uh, amphibious assault, and that that, that that is for me uh, a super uh, surprise. Then we have as a control option uh, Northern Wind. Um, I wouldn't say this is the uh, the best uh, way to use it. Uh, it's only maybe because uh, uh, for Medoc. Uh, if you're hunting for Medoc, this is definitely helping. But uh, other than this, I would just use two boiling uh, oils. And I don't think that Medoc is uh, that much of a threat in this uh, season. Uh, then we have two uh, casting spells. Uh, then um, two Carabalistas. Uh, two Griffin Witchers. Uh, also a, a very good choice, especially with the with the crystal skull. Uh, then two ballistas, uh, two siege masters, and uh, musicians of uh, Blaviken. Uh, so as you can see, uh, pretty consistent. Uh, this time uh, we don't play, uh, we don't play at uh, the siege, we don't play the scenario, we don't play amphibious assault. It's more of a control option because we have uh, Vigo's muzzle and uh, heat wave uh, at the same time. Then inspired zeal, uh, in my opinion, the best leader ability, and uh, this is a golden necker. Uh, golden necker, obviously crystal skull, uh, golden necker, flotsam. The only thinning option that we may have here uh, is. Uh, <coughs> is obviously a royal decree plus uh, plus Mata plus uh, Vernon, so the, uh, he basically used all of it. Uh, then we have a uh, Muta generator um, just to create additional points in the further rounds. Uh, Ildiko uh, for Zeal, uh, Idaran uh, reinforcement, Margarita for a lob, uh, Wagon, uh, Onager, and then we have uh, River Hunters. Uh, obviously. Uh, in most of the cases, you will um, copy with the wagon <coughs> and you will spawn uh, one uh, river hunter. But uh, if you feel like uh, it makes absolutely no sense, then you can play here into more of Sintran ro or Central uh, Royal Guards. Um, then you have uh, scouts, uh, one casting contest, uh, two Sintran uh, Royal uh, Guards, uh, two Lurian Arbalest, uh, Lurian uh, Landkirchnicht, and uh, Reinforced Ballista plus the Musician of Blaviken. Well, I don't agree with this uh, With this deck. Definitely I would use uh, both of the casting spells since we are playing uh, River Scouts. Uh, this is kind of necessary, but I would say the, 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 the best version uh, regarding the... Um, uh, regarding uh, what is it, Rivers, River, River Scouts and River uh, Hunters is uh, the one with uh, uh, Mushy Truffle. So uh, kind of a big surprise for me that uh, it goes like this, but I mean, um, this is the, the best version uh, if, if it's here in this list. Uh, then we have Inspire Zill, and this is like flying all over the, the game this season, guys. So uh, basically spawning, uh, spawning the uh, Blue Straps Commando. So uh, Cursed uh, Scroll, uh, King Demavent, uh, 
Renew. Renew obviously played into Princess Pavetta, uh, Oniromancy and Amphibious for Tinic and Consistency. Then Garrison obviously into uh, Blue Stripes. Uh, King Foltest uh, to create and spawn more Blue Stripes. Uh, Donny Mirror of Troy, and this is a must have, that's why we, we have a Curse Scroll here and also an Oniromancy. Uh, Voimir, uh, Cohen as a last say. Uh, then we have two inches. Uh, one Spores, Megascopes, uh, Siege, Support, uh, just to have a, a Zeal. Uh, then also uh, we have two Blue Stripe Scouts, Pellar, Siege Ladder, just to transfer one of the uh, Stripes into a, a Melee or a Range Row. Uh, Square as a Graveyard Control and uh, Oxenfull Scholar goes perfectly with this because as you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six units. So uh, it's gonna be a card that is for uh, four points of provision will go to nine points. Amazing value. <clears throat> uh, this is the second deck uh, that is uh, all over the, the game right now. Uh, since uh, Griffin Witcher's Adams right now they are at four points of five points of power. This is a must have. And as you can see Crystal Skull, uh, Amphibious Assault, Geralt, uh, Geralt uh, Professional um, all gold plus obviously uh, two uh, offerings. Uh, then we have uh, Pathfinder, Royal Decree, Vesemir uh, Mentor, uh, Geralt uh, Quen, Keldar, uh, triple uh, triple combo uh, of uh, Griffins. Uh, the, uh, sorry, Witchers. Then we have Trial of Grasses, uh, Berengar Cohen as a last say, uh, Selective Mutation. Uh, two Griffin Witchers. Obviously, this is like a must have in uh, round one, <coughs> uh, especially if you're on blue coin. Uh, Mahagam Ale, uh, Spores, uh, two uh, target uh, practices, and two uh, Witchers. Uh, then we have an uh, additional one. This is this is the one with upri uprising, but because you play here Cohen, but this time uh, it's a it's a regular Shield Wolf, and uh, this time you go with a uh, Golden Necker. So Crystal Skull, Golden Necker, Royal Decree. Uh, Siri Nova, uh, then the lion, and use leader tick on then the lion. Uh, Roach uh, for tinning. Uh, Geralt uh, Gwent also for tinning, and to give one of our units uh, a shield. Uh, Kair Seren, uh, and then we can have two options. We can have a uh, Griffin Witcher, or we can have a uh, Griffin Witcher Adept. Most preferably, I would go for uh, Witcher. Uh, then we have uh, Hubert uh, Wraith for tinning. Uh, King uh, Ragnar. Uh, obviously, to get all the uh, all the sheets from our units, uh, Keldor, uh, Immortals, Trial of Grasses, Sangreal, Berenger, uh, Spear, which is also a, a very good uh, control option, uh, Secret Service, amazing. Uh, do you know what, guys? I would say that uh, if you play <coughs> uh, three potentially Griffin Witchers, uh, it wouldn't mind if you even had uh, two of the Secret Service. That would help uh, a lot, or uh, at least uh, to have uh, one of the uh, maybe purifiers, but uh, I don't think there's room for it. So maybe it's better to have just uh, two Redanian uh, secret services. Uh, then we have selected mutation, two Griffin Witchers, uh, then sorcerers, two copies, uh, target practices two, and uh, adepts two. And the last deck uh, from Northern Realms. Uh, and what is a big surprise that, as you can see, guys, right now uh, Witchers are back in the meta. And uh, out of this, uh, out of this, uh, all decks. We have two uh, two decks which are definitely a meta decks and are I wouldn't even say it, um, they can be even the, the 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 strongest one. I don't know if if they are in fact, but I would definitely uh, in uh, in the top three output uh, outplays both of them. Okay, and then the last one uh, it's uh, once again Shield Wall, but this time it's uh, Alumni. And uh, as you all know, guys, uh, this is a super strong deck, and if you don't have an answer uh, for it, then basically pretty much you're done. Uh, so a typical deck, uh, there is only one surprise for me because Shiny, I don't think it's it's that good. Then the other cards, uh, they are like uh, always. So we have a Crystal Skull, on Neuromancy, Amphibious Assault, uh, Chapter of Wizards. Uh, then we have <coughs> uh, Gerhard, uh, Coranti Heatwave, Donimir, Shiny, Necromancy, uh, Leticia, Alumni, uh, Redanian Secret Services, uh, Rune Ward, uh, Casting Contest, Mahakam Ale, Practice makes perfect siege ladder, squirrel, uh, ban uh, student, and Arduza student. Uh, so this is uh, also very common. Uh, I would say two months ago that was uh, super popular, uh, especially I think among the Russian community. Uh, the guys they they tend to play it a lot. And when I was playing uh, with some guys from Russia, uh, I, they were using this uh, deck uh, a lot.
so guys this these are the decks let me know what do you think uh, um what do you think about them and uh, what are your thoughts maybe there is something that uh, i miss maybe there are some other uh, decks with, which are also can be considered as a uh, meta decks so thank you very much for watching thank you for your time and support please like subscribe and comment guys see you in the next video and the last announcement guys please go to the nearest shelter and adopt the dog thank you very much guys bye bye